Uh, all right, Coach, it's been a week since you guys opened uh, the season with a couple home meets. Uh, what have you guys been working on? Uh, how excited are you to get back in the pool and against competition? Yeah, um, you know, I thought we, uh, we've, been, we've been working really hard in the weight room. Uh, with a with a little change in direction direction from our from our new director in the uh, strength and conditioning uh, department, and Ashley's done a great job. And so our girls are just now adapting to that and going into our relay meet. We had, um, you know, we're, we're tired, and uh, I think I think we we saw that. But uh, you know, we're excited to be going to Fresno for the Chick Fil A invite to swim swim some really good competition and and see kind of where we stack up against Cal. Um, top top three team um and then some of our some of the other opponents i think we can really race and have a good meet against but it's it's just a a check to see where we're at compared to last our last competition and and where we're going moving forward i think there was close to 13 to 14 newcomers that saw you know that made their cougar debuts for you uh, in that first that first weekend what do you want to see are you curious to see are you excited to see them you know and you up the competition this this weekend at the chick-fil-a invite what are you excited to see out of your team yeah um you know we, we've been we've been talking a lot uh about bringing bringing that energy and that level of competition to practice and we've started to see a change um as far as people getting up and racing people swimming tired uh during the week, which I think is big, uh, you know, we had, you know, for instance, Michaela, you know, in the two and middle relay, we said, okay, don't breathe in the 50 fly, uh, the fly leg, and she didn't breathe. You know, it's something that we've been working on, you know, uh, being at top speed and and not worrying about, you know, breathing in a sport that obviously everyone loves to do, which is breathe. But uh, we've we've done we, we've done some really good stuff, and you know I think out of out of our freshman class, you know Kate Ladderout's been been doing a great job. She's been coming on. Um, you know we do have some sickness and injury running his course, but I mean mainly mainly just sickness, and we know that that'll be squared away. Um, so. You know, we're trying to get uh, some of our other freshmen to continue to step up and work hard. I know that, um, you know, mache has been doing a great job. And so so for us, it's just making sure that we can we can back each other up with consistent training so that we can go to meets and have consistent performance. And I think that that is something that we're moving, a, we're moving more towards that competition in practice, which helps us compete in meets. And finally, I know there's a number of veterans you're excited about and seeing their progress, but maybe talk a little about uh, what Chloe Larson has done over maybe the last 18 months or since you've taken okay. over that, uh, you know, where she's at and people are finding out uh, about Chloe Larson now. Yeah, she she really, really committed um, to to lifting, to training at elite level, and she's been doing a great job, and she's figured out how to swim tired. But you're right, it has been about, a, you know, about 18 months, a year and a half, um, you know, coming in w when the new staff got here, you know, she, she had just started figuring out what it looked like. And then over the summer, she made huge strides, uh, just barely missing her Olympic trial cut by a tenth of a second. Um, and so she just kind of has been feeding off of that and that success and has been really energized to, to not only train at a high level to, to compete, but also um, training in the weight room. She's been doing a great job. And I think you've just seen how strong she's gotten between, you know, when, when we got here until now. And so we're excited to see what happens when we, when we do get ready to swim fast. Um, we put, we put our, our student athletes in, in the best possible position when we go to Houston then when we go to winter nationals so for me it's uh, it's fun to see that person that that's bought in you know 365 to really get after it um you know and we've seen that out of out of some some other some other uh, other swimmers on our team um such as uh, a Lauren um you know obviously Taylor and so we're starting to get more and more of that and if if uh we keep more people joining that club um and being committed 365 you're going to continue to see our program grow and and that's what it's all about for us all right thanks coach good luck this cool weekend. thank you go kooks